All right, hey guys, it's Jaylon. I am here today to sift through this drawer. I have no idea when I'm gonna put this video up. But anyway, it is cold outside. It's actually snowing, which is insane. And I decided today was going to be the day that I colored my hair. So I currently have color on my hair, which means I may have to take a few breaks to wash it off put on my Olaplex treatment, etc. Anyway, I thought I would record myself kind of going through this drawer. This is something that I typically do when I do my kind of yearly inventory where I go through each drawer in my vanity and just kind of make sure that everything looks and smells okay. And then I'll go through my Excel spreadsheet and tick everything off, make sure it's still in my collection, and then take out anything that I decide to declutter. Now, please no judginess here. This is obviously way too too much makeup than anyone needs and this is obviously one of many drawers. This is actually my lip gloss, liquid lipstick, anything that's too tall to go into a you know like shorter drawer. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably start with this little this little container is from Sunny Cosmetic. I got these not too long ago, last year actually. I'll try to go back and look on Sunny Cosmetics website and see what these were called. These are super handy. The reason why I like this container is because when I set this up, it's perfect to be able to take it out and then still be able to pull this forward and be able to get to the very back but you are using this space functionally, if that makes sense. That's why I liked this container. This is my liquid lipstick little section. And I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff in here because I don't like liquid lipsticks. Specific ones. Now there are a few in here that I will probably keep, but I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of what's in here. Um, I've had a lot of these for a very long time and liquid lipsticks for me are just so drying. I don't like them. <laughs> Uh, typically what I do is I like to kind of organize by the brand. I have four of these Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks and these are just way too drying for me. So the four that I have are Allison, Catnip, um, Sugar Plum and Craft. I just can't wear these. They, I, I tried wearing Allison and, or I tried using Allison in a project and it just, it, it killed my lips. So I'm getting rid of all four of these. I found one more. This is Madison. It's a beautiful color, but yeah. Nope. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get rid of these four as well. These are the ColourPop. I think these, and see, it's all rubbed off. Ultra Satin Lips. And I don't even know if they still make these, but these were, they're just too drying for my lips. I didn't swatch the other ones, but I'll swatch these. This is Molly. And I did, I mean, I have used these for sure. And that one was Dopey. That one's really pretty. This one was Alyssa. I know that I panned this one because I can see some markings on the uh, tube. And then this is Lock Diary. This is from the Hello Kitty collection. And I feel like these are a different formula. So these may be a different formula than this one. I don't know, but they're just, they're like, I can just, they're sucking the moisture out of my hand and I don't like it. So these four are going as well. And I've, I've had those for a really long time. So that's another reason why I'm just gonna get rid of them. I've kind of gotten to the point now where I'm like, I really like creamier bullet lipsticks. If I'm gonna wear anything, I'd rather wear that and wear those lipsticks and enjoy them than just torturing my lips with these, <laughs> with these. <laughs> 
So these are new to my collection and I have not worn them. These came in, I think a boxy charm last year. I don't know how drying they are, so I'm still gonna hold on to these. <laughs> This one I'm getting rid of because, I, and I have a mini of this, but the, I broke, <sighs> I broke this. And this is the melted, Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. I love this shade, love, love. This is one of those liquid lipsticks that I will torture my lips through because it's a gorgeous color, crazy. But I have a mini of this, and because I've broken it, I'm just like, I don't need to hold on to this big one. I'll just use the, the mini. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I'm gonna hold on to these guys. These are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and I have Lover, Ruler, and I also have Believer. It's in my 365 Days of Lippies. I have not tried the one that's in my, my 365 Days of Lippies project yet, so I wanna try it and then make the decision whether I will keep these. So until then, these are staying. So I do like the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I have two. Um, this one is gorgeous. This is, oh, it's so pretty. This one is Stone. And I don't know about this one. This one I may get rid of. If I remember, it was patchy. You see how patchy that is? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of this one. This one was Bury Me Too cuz it just it went on super patchy if I remember correctly. I thought I had another one. I guess I don't. Okay. No, I, I do. Okay, I do. I have one more. This is a mauve story and this was the Katie and Desi collection. Yeah, and I'm gonna hold on to that one too. I don't wanna get rid of all of them, but I don't, I mean, there's just several that I, you know. Oh, there's one more, ha. Oh, I think this one's patchy too. This is Kiss of Fire. Yeah, and I'm just not gonna wear that, that's patchy. Nah, getting rid of it. Let's do these Stila ones. I'm gonna hold on to the Stila liquid lipsticks. I have Patina and Boca. And I'm gonna, this is Patina. Oh, it's so pretty. And this one is Boca. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to those. And then here I have two other of the matte, of the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have Candy Cane, and this is like a holiday color. And then I have, uh, it's happening. So this one is Candy Cane. Oh, did that just drip out? I think that just dripped out. Wonderful. And this is It's Happening. You know, I think, I think I'm gonna wait on these and try them. Maybe they'll come up in my 365 Days of Lippies. They're pretty colors. I just don't know that I'm going to wear these colors very often, but I will say it's nice to have these types of colors in a matte formula. So I'm gonna hold on to them for now. I may regret that, but I'm gonna hold on to them for now. And did that really just drip in there? Yeah, I've got some staining, so sorry about that. So I only have one of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, and this is in Rebel Rose. This is really pretty. So that's that shade. I love this color, so this one's staying. <laughs> Staying. Okay. So I have two of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And I think these are really drying too, but I really love lips love sick. Oh yeah, I think this has to stay. And the story of my life, there is a freaking cat hair on my hand. <laughs> so that's love sick. I love that color. And this is Bauhaus, I think. Is that right? Can't read that. Yeah, I think this is Bauhaus. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these. That's Bauhaus. Hopefully I'll get these in my 365 Days of Lippies and we'll try them. Okay, so here are three, I think I only have three of these. Three of the, the Balm Meat Matte Hues liquid lipsticks. 
I have Charming, Dedicated, and Sentimental. I've had these for a really long time. They still smell good. That's Charm, wait, which one is this one? <laughs> That's Sentimental, Dedicated. And that one is Charming. You know what, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. So these, I think, these are from Jouer. I should tell you guys what these are. These are from Jouer, these are their lip, lip cremes. And I'm definitely gonna get rid of Skinny Dip. I don't need this. <laughs> it's not that it's a bad product, but I don't need a gold topper like that. I just, I don't, I don't. It's not that it's bad and it smells, still smells really good. I did have this in a project at one point, but no, I don't need that. Now this one I do like, and this is in Cassis. So that's Cassis. This may be able to be put in a project cause it looks like it's either, I don't know. It may be drying out, so you see how patchy that is? So, hmm. But it may be drying out, so it may need to be put in a project, but see how beautiful that color is? Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that one, but I'm gonna get rid of Skinny Dip. I also have one of the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and this was in, or this is in Gray Envy. I really do like this color. That's Grey Envy, so I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, I have another Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is a mini in Lovesick. Well, just this one's still sealed. We'll keep that one. And then I have two of the Sephora liquid lipsticks, and these are their, what do they call these? Cream lip stains. These are their cream lip stains. This one is still sealed, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna obviously swatch that one. And that one is in 38. I hate that they don't have colors on these. A sweet raspberry. <laughs> they do have colors on them. This is number 13, and I don't know what the color on this one is. It still smells okay. So that is what that one looks like. So pretty. I'm keeping that one. And I do actually have a few more that are considered liquid lipsticks. So let me just pull this back. These Pixie by Petra are considered matte lipsticks as well. And I'm keeping both of these. I have Evening Rose. There's the Evening Rose. This is really pretty. And I also have Really Rose. <laughs> e and that's really rose. These are both, these, this is a, you know, it's still drying, but it's not suck your lips dry formula. So I remember I do have a couple of liquid lipsticks here. I have all of these Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks. So let's swatch these guys. So I have swag, that's swag. And I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. Friendship, unless they're like orange. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe that one. Well, maybe not. Let's see. That's Friendship Swank. That one feels really dry. Okay, that one's better. Swank. Scandal. So that's Scandal. This one's Juju. Juju is my favorite one. It's Juju. And then the last one is Slay. Slay is really pretty too. I'm for sure going to get rid of this one here. It's just way too brown and dark. And that's Scandal. This one's barely used. So I don't even think I've used this one on my lips. So I actually have a girlfriend that I think this would look gorgeous on. So I'm going to gift that to her and the rest of them I'm keeping. And I think those are all of the liquid lipsticks that I own. So we ended up getting rid of 13, which I think is really good. So let me put these back in here. Okay, 
much better. So now I think I'm gonna start like here and work, work my way that way. So these are all Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses and I'm just gonna sniff them and make sure they smell okay. Yeah, they smell, this one smells okay. Yep, these are all fine. These are like came in packs. I have Rio, Grape Jelly, Blushing, Tango, and Kristen. So these are all fine, they're staying. And then these are, <laughs> these are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have Paris, Addis Ababa, Ababa, yeah. Prague, Milan, and Toulouse. So I guess these are kind of like considered liquid lipsticks too. I remember I wore one of these once. That one looks a little patchy. And someone was like, oh my God, your lipstick is so pretty. Well, actually it wasn't these. It was one of their different formulas. That's patchy too. So these are all okay. So I'm gonna keep them and maybe put one in a project just to see, you know, I, I know I've tried them, but you know, to see if I still like the formula and if I wanna keep them all, but um, I do like these colors. I probably don't need both of those pinks, but the formula isn't bad and I don't see another reason to get rid of them. So, okay, we're gonna keep them. Again, I'm not decluttering for the sake of decluttering. I'm just looking through here to see if anything's gone bad and if the color doesn't work with my skin tone. So let's move these NYX, uh, these NYX butter glosses over here. So I have three left, I think. I actually have one in on the top of my vanity that's like, I need to work on this one, but I have three left. I have sugar cookie, angel food cake, and meringue, and I think these are still fine. But these are all fine. I do like this formula, so eventually I will use these. So we'll just move these over here. Let's just move these NYX items. These are the NYX Powder Puff Lippies. So let's swatch these. Actually, this one has not been used, so I'm gonna leave it. And maybe I'll pull this in my 365 Days of Lippies and we'll see what the formula is like. So I'm gonna leave that one there. And then this one I know I've used. Oh, I have it. We're just gonna leave both of these alone. Uh, the colors, I should say, the colors I have are Pop Quiz and Moody. I still those there. I think that is all. Okay, I am going to move these over. And we're going to put all of my um, White Beauty stuff in this home. Okay, let's do White Beauty. This is all White Beauty, right? Okay, I'm gonna make this my Bite Beauty column. So we'll start with these two. These are the Lush Lip Tints and I have Cherry and Lychee. So I'm definitely working on, you know, panning these. So those can go back in here. And then I have another one of these Mauvember Liquified Lip Creams. Oh, I have one more Lush Lip Tint in Black Current. Sometimes I do them right side up, sometimes I do them upside down. I don't know, I don't know which is better. <laughs> I have several of these, like what, what are these? The matte, oh my God, I can't see. I need my glasses. I don't know why my beauty thinks that we can read these. Okay, matte, Ugh, even with my glasses, I can't read that. Pigment pencil, holy crap, I can't read that. Okay, so I have several of these, obviously. I have, here, let's swatch them around. Shipley. Rhubarb, I love, I love rhubarb. So pretty, a uh, grapevine. This is a really old one. Oh, pretty. This is another rhubarb. This is the one I've probably used the most. Yep. Um, wait, is that other one rhubarb? 
Yeah, these are both rhubarb, but they look different. What the heck? <laughs> well, I'm gonna set this one aside. So I have a holder that, that sits in my vanity of things that I need to pan. So I'm gonna put this rhubarb in here. And then I also have quince. Yeah, okay, that one's staying, that one's fine. Did I smell it? So these are the matte creme lip crayons. And I'm just gonna go through and see uh, what we have here. We have Glacé, which is stunning. That's not going anywhere. Um, Lychee, again, stunning, not going anywhere. Love that one. Orchid. This one, if I remember correctly, that one was hard for me to use. I'm gonna set that one aside and decide on it. Uh, Pastille, I love Pastille. This one's not used, so I'm not gonna swatch it because I have another one. Let me see. Oh, shit, I have, I have two Pastilles. Okay, I have a big Pastille, like this size Pastille somewhere. I don't know where it is, I'll have to find it. And then we have Ray Frise. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This, I just don't wear reds very often and that is not a red that I'm going to wear. So I'm gonna declutter that one. And then Aubergine, and this is really pretty. And that one is definitely staying. This one I may get rid of, well, I don't know. This is a creme lip gloss in rose pearl. Still smells good. You know, I got rid of Skinny Dip, but this is really pretty. And I just want to see, you know, you see that duo chrome shift? I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> and put that one over there. So I do have these two in Castile. I'm going to put these in the back because they're duplicates. And then these are their newer ones, and I got a duo. This is a Glossé, so I'm not going to swatch that, but this one is Nonino. And that's super pretty. Okay, um, oh, here's a bite. This is tannin. That's tannin. I know I tried to use this. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I just, reds are so hard for me. Okay, here are the Tarte, uh, these were their quench lip creams or something like that. So these are all staying. I'll put these here. Let me swatch these. These are the Too Faced Melted Matte Lips. Chihuahua is staying for sure. Let me just, that one's not even used, so we're just gonna put that one back. Oh, I did. See, I knew that I had. George, that's stuck on in there. talking about the Chihuahua and these guys. So I think this one, I'm going, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Melted Rainbow. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll keep it. And then Fig, I'm definitely not getting rid of because it's gorgeous. Yeah, fig is not going anywhere. Stunning. All right, and I don't think I, do, oh, I do have a couple of other tart things. Okay, so I have these tart 
um, products. These are, this is the H2O lip gloss. I have two of them. And I have Salt Life and Room Service. And these are not going anywhere. This one is Salt Life. I have this in the, um, I panned this lipstick and it's gorgeous. And then this one is Room Service. So both of those are definitely staying. And then I also picked up this three pack um, of their Maracuja Juicy Lip uh, during the holidays. This is Holiday Spritz, Mary Martini, and Butter Grum. And these are staying as well. I'll just swatch, I think I swatched one of these. Let me see which one it was. Yeah, so this is Mary Mimosa. This is another one of those that you click from the top so it's almost just like a, a balm a balm so you can kind of see it's like a light tint it's just a tint and so I'm just gonna put those there okay so now let me grab some things from over here well, let's do these dose of colors messy bun here. Where is messy bun? You still recording? Mm, messy bun, where are you? Mmm. Escapee. An escapee. Oh, okay, it's there. Is that from this past month? Oh, no, you cannot start. <laughs> I found Pastille. Ha! So this is, I used it last month in my 365 Days of Lippies, and I was waiting to do this drawer before I put it away. So, <laughs> so exciting. Okay, let me put this here. I have four of the Dose of Colors lip glosses, and these are not going anywhere. I have Seriously, On Repeat, Spill the Deets, and Messy Bun. And so these are all staying. I love these. I'll just watch these real fast. make this my macro so let's just get these mac ones out of the way i found another anastasia lip gloss so i'm just gonna move these up and put this one here in just a second but i'm going to place all of my mac items in this next row i think i have what two three yeah three of these lip glasses and I have Bitty, Bo Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb, Oyster Girl, and Nymphette. I'm not going to swatch these. I think there's plenty of places you can see what these look like. And then I have several of the lip glasses. And I think this was part of like that holiday collection. I can't read what this one is. Yeah, I can't read that. Anyway, it's pretty. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Love Child. Avalanche of Kisses and Among the Stars. So those can go there. And then I have a Cream Sheen Glass Lip Gloss and Throw a Spare. Do I want to keep this? Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's a sheer, it's a sheer gloss. Okay, so that can stay. And then I have a Mateen Lipstick in Personal Pick. 
Oh yeah, I remember I got this one. It's really pretty. And it still smells fine. So that's personal pick. And I think that's all the MAC lips, lip products that are in this drawer. So these are the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lips. I have the shades Bittersweet and In A Jam. So these are beautiful, these are stained. Okay, I have three of these Kaja Heart Melter Moisture Whip Lip Gloss Sticks. So these are beautiful. I'm keeping all of these. I have Be Mine, Oh So Fine, and Honey Bun. So these are staying. <laughs> I decided to get rid of this one, which was Orchid. Bye-bye. So I have several of these Stila Matificent lipsticks and I do love these. I'm actually, I have one in my 365 Days of Lippies project right now and it's gorgeous. In that project I have Coquille, which is stunning, and I have, I actually have two Papillon, so I may swatch that, and then I have a Mon Ami. So let me just look at Papillon. Do I have one that's already been? This one has not been used. So let's look at Papillon. Mm, it's pretty. So these are all staying, but I'm gonna put this in my I should use this thing. And I'm actually gonna do that with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the love set too. Okay, so let's do these here. I'm gonna leave a spot for Coquille. I can't forget to do that. So I have these M Cosmetics lip glosses, and I actually have doubles of these. It's a long story. I may tell it at another date, but I have two of Secret Blush and two of Ash Rose. So let me just put these right here. And I have Ash Rose in a project, so that'll go right here. I have these Becca Cosmetics liquid crush lip toppers and i have one in my monochromatic pan project right now this is amethyst and geode rose quartz and seashell and the other one is like rose champagne and something so these will go right here i'll make another spot for it okay i have one clinique almost lipstick in what are these called I don't know. Cheek Honey. In fact, I have more of these, but they must be in a different drawer. So we'll just stick that one there. I have these two Burt's Bees lipsticks and I have a Fuchsia Flood and Magenta Rush. I'm tempted to declutter these, but they're pretty. So I'm gonna keep them. They're gonna go right here. Mmm, <laughs> okay. So here are House Laboratories lip glosses. I have one other one. These are the L La Riot lip glosses. I have Blaze, Venus, and then I can't remember what the other one was called, but it's in my 365 Days of Lippies right now. So these are staying. We'll make one more spot for it. Oh, here's a Stila product. Oh, I did not make room for you. Here, I'm going to move these up. This is a Stila lip gloss and Beauty Boss. So we'll put this one here. So let's look at these. These aren't going anywhere. These are all the Bare Minerals Gen Nude lip glosses. They all look the same, but they're not. Uh, Major, Butimus, and Can't Even. So these are staying. And then I also have these, just their regular glosses. And I can swatch these. This is must have. I mean, it's good. I can see if I want to keep all these. Yeah, that one's pretty. Sugar. Yep. Flirt. Oh, I know I'm going to like this one. Yep. <sighs> totally. Like, totally. Ooh, that one I don't know about. Well, and sugar. Okay, 
We'll leave totally and I'll try it, you know, maybe it'll get picked for 365 and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so those are all the Bare Minerals lip glosses that I have. I am going to get rid of this guy. This is the Balm Read My Lips lip gloss. It's just this bright pink and I just, nope, I don't, I, I have enough bright pink lip glosses and I don't need it. So that one's going. I only have a few NARS items in this drawer because they don't fit with the other NARS items that I have. So I have this, I have this velvet matte lip pencil and let's go crazy. Mm. Okay, that one's pretty. And then I have a velvet lip glide in Le Main, Le Main Blue, Le Main Blue. Let's see. It smells okay. Yeah, that's stunning. Keeping, keeping. I have one Lancome lip gloss. It needs to be kind of mixed up because it's <laughs> separated. Uh, I think I got this on sale at um, Sephora at the end of the year or something, but it's really pretty. It's just a really simple lip gloss. So this one can go here. Okay, I'm gonna move my Bite Beauty stuff into this column, but before I do that, I am getting rid of this. I am not keeping these lip, lip injections because I just, I can't with the tingling. So this one's going. First, let me move over these small ones. I have several of these. Obviously, you can tell I got, I got a lot of these in packs. So I'll just, I kind of like to put them in the order, like a color, lightest to darkest in here. So I have Amanda, Emma, Sandy, Amy, Erica, Celeste, Princess, and Dolly, Claire, Berry Blast, Star, is that just Star? Star. And do I have one that's pulled out? Yeah, I have one that I pulled out in this bin and it's just simple clear it's Dominique and I have Berry Bramble let's check Sangria I may get rid of this one. Oh no that's that's a light enough glossy color that I can get rid of that one or I can keep that one excuse me Sangria and then I'm gonna check this one this is Jasmine these all smell really good okay that one's fine too I mean, they're just such a light wash of color. Okay, that one's fine. And then I have some of the larger size. I should say I have some in the larger size. These are not um, Buxoms. These are all Buxoms, right? Okay, yeah. So I have like a limited edition white Russian. So we'll put this one back here. And then I have Mariah, French Martini, Aaron, and Blushing Margarita. So I have all of these guys. I have some other lippy bright beauty thing or buxoms over here. So I think what I'm gonna do I also have a couple of these buxom pencils. These are the full-on lipsticks. So these are staying. I have Acapulco, Brooklyn, Dolly, and Las Vegas. So I'm just gonna put these with the rest of my Buxom lippies. There we go. Okay, so those are all behaving. I think I only have one Urban Decay lip item in here, and this is the High Fine Shine Lip Gloss and Back Talk. So I think I'm just gonna stick this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that there. And then I only have one of these. This is a, I got this from Yes Style, Rom and ND. I don't know if that's right, but it's their Juicy Lasting Tint in Fig Fig. So that's what that looks like. It's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna stick this one right here. And then I think we have some, all right, I have three Sephora items. The These two are, I don't even know what this formula is. It's their like Mateen something something. Let's 
a bright pink. I don't know. May not. We'll just keep that one for now. And this is a glossy gloss in Berry Go Round. So we'll keep that. This is actually a just a pro gloss. This is just a gloss. But that's a good color. This just, it, and it may be better in the summer, but I do not like this color. Okay, and then I have a glossy balm in Lovely Mocha. Smells fine. I did find a Clinique Chubby Stick in Whopping Watermelon, and that's just a clear, it's just a clear. So let me stick that with the other Clinique product. From Revlon, we have two of these Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polishes. I tried Date Night, and it's stunning, and I'm sure I'll like this one too, which is Birthday Suit, so these are staying. And then I have two of these... What are these called? Ultra HD lipsticks and I have Vineyard and Desert. So these are both staying as well. I have one of the plumping lip glosses or lip creams and I have not even opened this so we're just going to stick that in there. I have a lip cushion lip tint and I've actually I panned this or I worked on panning it last year. Was it last year or the year before? And I like this. I mean, I can never tell how much I'm gonna, how much is left in here, but I did like this. And then I have a matte balm in Passionate. Mm. Okay, well, yeah, that can stay. That can stay. And then from CoverGirl, I just have a few things. I have a jumbo gloss, at least in this drawer, jumbo gloss balm in berries and cream. That's a pretty color. And I have a melting pout liquid lipstick. Mmm. That's really peachy and does not match the <laughs> tube, so I'm going to get rid of that. Peachy lipsticks don't always look the best on me, so that's why that is going. So before I get to this, like, color pop or ridiculousness, there's a little bit of e.l.f. over here, too. I do have a few last items. So I have this Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon in Stay Exceptional. I love this. So much it's staying here and then I have a few things from Ulta I have the two patent shine lip glosses Versailles and Venice let me just swatch Venice real quick oh yeah that's pretty okay I just wanted to make sure it wasn't too orange so those are staying and then I have a color rush lip gloss in Elizabeth Okay, I don't know if this recorded, but this guy, this is a Juice Beauty. This is the Luminous Lip Crayon in Malibu, and this has gone bad. I just tried to swatch it, and it didn't even want to swatch. So, I smelled it, and it, is, and it smells like a crayon, so, nope. I have this Sonia Kashuk. I mean, this is old, I'm sure, as you can tell. They don't even make lip products anymore. Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color and sheer plum. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. That's well, it's pretty. It's like a nice sheer color. I do have this like random lip gloss from a like indie vendor for wax and she also does like body care and so I got this free in a wax order so it's by the brand BU and it's a cranberry lip gloss so we're just gonna put that over there. The other thing that I have in here is this is a this is before Pat McGrath was like actually doing makeup. <laughs> This is like one of her first releases. Pat McGrath Labs Blood One lipstick. Mm. I think I'm gonna get rid of this no matter, no matter what. 
It's a really, really pretty lipstick, but I don't wear reds like this very often. It's a really, oh, I'm not going to get rid of it. <laughs> I can't get my, I can't make myself get rid of it, but we'll put this over here. Okay, now I have a bunch of ColourPop. So I have two of their Just a Tint lip crayons in Waikiki and Shaka. I'm not really getting rid of a lot of these, I don't think. Maybe some of these um, lip crayons or lippy sticks. And then I have two glosses in roundabout and type of way. So these are staying. Let's go over these glosses. So I have, these are all of their like regular glosses. Ultra glossy, yeah, these are all the ultra glossies. I may fast forward through some of this, but I'm just gonna swatch these and sniff them and see how they are. Okay, I had to change my battery, so we may have moved. Okay, so those are all fine. I did move one that it looked like I was close to finishing into my let's pan this bin. And then now I'm gonna try these lippy sticks. Ooh. Uh, yuck. Bite. <laughs> that is definitely growing something funky on it.
Yep. This one too. Look at this. Nope. <laughs> what else? What else? Oh, that one's pretty. Why you gotta do this once a year? getting rid of five of the color pop lippies I got rid of I think two or three based on the color and then there were two that were obviously had gone bad so five out of these oh and let me just watch this this is one that I had in my 365 days of lippies and it was really pretty so I'll keep that one and we gotta move things around now And then this is like one of those uh, primers. It smells okay. I mean, I guess I'll keep it to use it up. I don't know. I don't know how what it what it does, but we'll keep it. And then I have these Elf Lippies, which I love most of these. But let's swatch these and make sure they're still okay. <laughs> And then I have two of the their glosses. I feel like that's too orange toned. Yeah, that's name. And this one was the Alyssa Ashley one, and I bought it because I wanted to support her, but it's just, it's too, it's, it just doesn't go with my skin tone. So I'm going to pass this on to someone who may actually like it. Okay. guys so in this bin I have 29 items that I ended up decluttering or tossing because it had gone bad I think there were only what like three or four things that went bad um, this one and then I think two of the ColourPop lippies I think that was it yeah I think that's right well there's one oh yeah that one. <laughs> 
So these were the three that went bad. The rest of them were declutters because of the color or the formula. Yeah, the rest of these were color or formula. I think I did pretty good. 29. I mean, like I said, I wasn't decluttering for the sake of decluttering. There was a purpose behind all of this. Like I wanted to um, pare it down for like just leaving things in the collection that I really want to work on, you know, want to keep and enjoy versus having things in my collection that I don't like. <laughs> And I don't like the formula or I don't like the color and I don't want to pan something just just for the sake of panning it in the future. So anyway, I'm sure this video is ridiculously long because I know that I have been here a very long time and my back hurts. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't seem to get my videos to be a normal like under 10 minutes. Like I don't even know what that means. And it's a pain in my butt because it means that I end up you know, editing for hours. But anyway, that's apparently the kind of YouTuber or content creator that I am. I like to ramble and I put up long videos. So that is what it is. Anyway, I think I may tackle this drawer next, which I'm sorry, the camera angle is really bad. I'll have to fix the camera angle before I actually film this, but this is like my bronzer and powder drawer. And that's kind of what's next in terms of like going through here. I honestly don't know that there's a lot that I would get rid of in here, but I'd still need to go through it. So that's kind of the next thing. So, if you guys want to see this drawer, let me know and I can record it. Oh, oh Lordy, here he is. Anyway, all right, I am rambling and I need to take this Olplex treatment off my hair and I need to eat. So hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.